It's Janet here. I'm a children's librarian at the Wilmot Public Library. Welcome to the very first episode of We're Gonna Make It, Simple Crafts for Complicated Times. Online school got you down. You can take a walk, you can chat with a friend, you can read a book, or you can make some crafts. Let's make some crafts. Today, I'm going to walk you through some crafts that will make your online school day just a little bit more relaxing. You should be able to make these with common household items. My hope is they'll make your schoolroom feel just a little bit more like a spa. If you spend a big chunk of your day sitting in front of an iPad, you might start to feel the need to fidget. Why not fidget with a homemade stress ball? First, grab a couple balloons. You'll want to blow them up or just stretch them out a lot so that they get just a little bit bigger. Next, find a funnel and attach um, your balloon to the bottom of it. Now you might want to do this over a sink or maybe a bowl because you could make a mess and I don't want your parents to get mad at me. Next, you'll need to find a filling for your stress ball. I chose flour, but you could also try rice or beans or maybe cornstarch and water. You can experiment to figure out what feels best to you or maybe just use whatever you have the most of lying around your house. So gently spoon your filling into the funnel. See? And shake it down a little bit. Maybe tap it. This might take a, a minute or two because you want it to go into the balloon gradually and your goal is to get all the air out of the balloon. Fill it up with flour or your desired material so that all the air is gone and you can squeeze the balloon without worrying about it bursting. Okay, there's Another spoonful. Well, my balloon is officially full. There's no more air in there. So I'm going to take it off of the funnel and tie off the bottom. Okay, so here's my stress ball and I don't want it to burst or if it does burst, I don't want it to make a mess. So I'm gonna take another balloon and cut off most of the stem and then stretch it so it goes over the first balloon. There. There's your stress ball. Now fidget away. Good smells can also be relaxing. Sachets are a way to get some aromatherapy during the day. I'll show you how to make them. First, find something that smells good. You could do dried herbs from your kitchen cabinet, or maybe you have a garden. You could dry some rosemary or maybe some lavender. You might have some herbal tea lying around your house. I like some chamomile and peppermint tea. Or maybe you have um, some peppermint drops or some vanilla extract in your kitchen cabinet. So what worked best for me was to cut open a chamomile tea bag 
dump it out and mix it with a peppermint tea bag. refreshing. Mix them up a little bit. Then I found a coffee filter. If you want, you can decorate the coffee filter, maybe with a marker. Then dump your pleasantly fragrant, fragrant mixture into the coffee filter. and close the top and tie it tight, pretty tightly so you don't spill. And to make it a little bit prettier, take a ribbon and tie it around the top. I feel so much better. So you can stop at making one and just sniff it whenever you need a little invigoration, or you can make lots of them so your schoolroom smells like a spa or a garden. I feel better already. At the end of a long online school day, your eyes might need a rest. The solution? Make yourself a cucumber eye mask. It's really very simple. Just slice two pieces off of a cucumber, recline, and put the cucumbers on your eyes. I'm going to do that myself now. <sighs> See you next time. I promise, we're gonna make it.